so now let's create our testimonial section now in this video okay i have already said that let's get started first of all i'm going to create and take a section container inside the container there will be heading and some text so i'm gonna add another container then i'd like to add a heading testimonials and some text here and let's click here to make it group so i'm going a little bit faster here because i already said everything from the beginning so i think you understand how it works let's add a background color here and i'm going to add a background image because if you take a look at the design it's it has a web shape background so to creating that shape you can use this image hero area or i have added another image normal section bz you can use this one as well so we have added this section and it looks like this let's click update and reload here is the testimonial section now we are going to add some space on this section or container basically so go to spacing add padding 90 pixel and the padding bottom should be 90 pixel now go back to our design here you can see three columns so let's take three column here first open here container and i'm going to duplicate this container or i can take container here and place here again so make sure that it's an individual container not inside the container so what i mean i have to mean that you have to display the container here not above so i'm going to drag it to the bottom i hope you understand i have added new container below this container and now inside the container i'm gonna add another container for better understanding so that you can understand i'm going to add a background color here and i'm gonna duplicate this container three times then here i'm going to change the flex direction row and inside this area i'm going to add this testimonial section or testimonial style so first of all here i'm gonna take another container so inside this container take another container okay so i think i have to update this one what's going on let's update and let's reload now take another container and then we can take container or we can take icon box here directly so let's try icon box or info box and take a look at our design it's image text and its designation let's change the view here so i think it's not possible 
to change the image direction okay so maybe uh, it's not possible here i do not want to spend so much time so if you are not able to understand uh, which one you should use so in that situation you can use simply let's remove the background first you can simply use container and that's what i'm going to do here let's take container i have already taken another container inside the container i'd like to take another container and duplicate this one and now this two container i'd like to change the direction here and add image this one and change the image mask to round shape or circle and add heading here and add a designation here CEO and founder of Ali. Well, let's make it group. And change this heading 2 to heading 5. So we are almost done here. Let's custom weed percentage. Instead percentage, I can use pig gel. so let's add here and select container here i have added pixel here i'm not sure if it's gonna work or not so now what i'm going to do i'm gonna make it vertical align center let's make it percentage and i will think about it later on now let's make it vertical align center first flex properties and it's already center close this one it looks like this if i select four it looks better now so i can change the image i think uh, there should be another way So if I just take a look at here, let's change image size. So this is little bit complex. So you can skip this part if you're not able to do such thing. But if you want, then you can continue watching this video so that you can understand how it works. So now i'm gonna i have this container here and this one is the whole container this one is for image and his designation and title or name so inside this container there is another container what i'm going to use i'm going to add a pixel and then 100 pixel i have added and here i'm going to add a pixel and let's make it see it's not working it with pixel so it looks like this there should have some other way but now we can simply take a look at here which one taking space now we can reduce the space between the item after that we can reduce the space here and there it's let's reduce the space now between so here is the container let's select style and spacing column gap is zero and also select the container reduce padding to make it zero this one padding is zero and as you can see it's working group select the group block spacing zero and also make 
the vertical align center i i think all it's, it's already center so as you can see we have created this section we can add a little bit of spacing here if we want but as of now it's okay to have this it's almost similar well now let's if i close this one it will be also displaying perfectly here now let's add some more information here so these are other container this one and this one so i will duplicate them later on but right now what i'm going to do i'm gonna add stir so here you can see i have added star and let's make it we can type here we can add uh, something but if we do not want then we can just skip that part let's copy the text i'm not sure if it's gonna copy or not add a paragraph so before adding paragraph uh, let's clear the title here so and i want to display only a star mark so I start position before and uh, you can increase the rating here and i'm going to disable the title go to style increase the size let's take a look at our design it's perfect 30 pixel and now click on update reload our page it looks like this click here again and we can place them inside our container so let's add a paragraph here paragraph drag and drop it here paste here so i have copied the text but it doesn't work copy here from here again and also select here and make them group so that you can reduce the spacing so when you add group only this spacing features will be available on your end you can also add padding as well so i hope you understand how it works let's reload and view our shop page it looks like this and uh, we can simply add some padding and let's compare with our design here sorry there is some padding and it looks much cleaner and there is some space i have to reduce the space here let's add padding so add padding right and left well and also if i select this container go to style spacing and the padding bottom should be zero and here also we can reduce the padding i think here it's already zero and still there is some padding maybe here it's still zero so maybe add some margin bottom and see how it works let's click update and we are done it's working and it's similar it's displaying similarly let's add some padding here at the bottom so we have completed our testimonial section you can create any kind of section like testimonial or any kind of section using the container that's that's the power of using container let's delete them because these are not necessary as of now
and duplicate this container. Click on update. You can change the content, but I'm not going to change the content as of now. I'd like to keep it simple and that's all so we have completed our section but somehow the background image is not coming with the wave shape here so let's change the background image to use this one i hope it will look much cleaner yes it looks great and the color which is uh, black and all of the font are capital letter here click update and reload we are almost complete our section so the last section that is our category items so let's display them 